What's up? Wayne Barron here with Artifacts.net and we are inside of Microsoft Visual Studio and this is lesson six of our access database uh, reading records from our database this time on lesson four five on lesson four <laughs> get them confused on lesson four we did the access database in certain records and so in lesson six we're going to be reading the records from the access database I'll get it right in a minute okay let's go ahead and get started let's go to file new website and we want to do an empty website and then we come over here click on this and we want to do a web form come over here to a split and let's get rid of the form because we're not going to need it so let's go ahead and do our open and now let's type in the following so wait hold it uh, before we start uh, we have our website 14 and so inside of website 14 we need to take our database so your users database that we created yesterday or lesson four whenever that was anyway uh, take that and copy it inside of website 14 that way it will be inside of the website so that we can utilize it within our project so now let's type in dim cn as ole db connection equals new ole db connection let's go down and as you see we've already got an error to start off with so let's come up here and let's do at we want to import namespace and we want to type in the following system dot data dot o l e d b and ah <laughs> that's that in the quote there at the end okay all right so now we've gotten rid of that little squiggly line up underneath our o l e d b connection so now let's come over here and type in cn connection string and that's going to be equal and we're going to do provider equals microsoft dot jet oops jet dot ole db and 4.0 semicolon data source equals and now we're going to type in our database so server dot map path and users dot mdb okay so that's got that taken care of and now let's jump down to cn dot open okay so as you can see, we've got our Microsoft Jet OLEDB.4.0 data source is our server map path, which is our users.mdb that we just dropped down inside of our folder. So now we come here and we type in dm string cs as string equals username. Okay. The username is what we typed in to our database. And if we come down here and we take a look at our database, uh, well, let's open up our database. Okay. When we look at our database, we got two users inserted. We got username and then username two. And so what we want to do is that we want to be able to grab a hold of this information. So using our username, I hate it when that happens using our username right here as a string then we're able to use it within our query so let's go ahead and type out our query dim get user as ole db command and equals new ole db command Okay, now let's do select username, password, UID from user TD, where username equals at 
whoops, user name. And then we're going to end it there and then type in CN at the end. Okay. So now we're going to select our username, password, and user ID from our user table where our username equals username, which is this string right here. So now let's come down and let's grab a hold of that string. Get user dot parameter dot add width and we want to do at username string cs okay now that right there is going to grab a hold of our username here with our string cs which is this right here so it is going to match this value against this value to give us the information that we want to get. So now let's do dim rs user as ole db data reader and equals get user dot execute reader. And now we want to come down and do if rs user dot has rows then while rs user dot read and then that right there will give us that information so now the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and create some variables so that we can actually use our variables within our project so let's do dim get username as string equals rs user username and the good thing about this is that we can copy and paste this and use it here pw id change this to password and id so now let's grab a hold of these two and go down to the bottom and paste it. Okay, now what we can do is that we can utilize our get un, get pw, and get id within our project. So let's say this is your username. And then let's go ahead and copy this, paste and paste, and this is your password. And this is your id. So now let's type in uh, get username, get password, and then get ID. And then come over here and add a break. And then we save it. Okay. So if everything goes right, we should be able to run this project without any problems. So let's go over here to debug and start debugging. Click OK. And it gave us an error. So no value is given for one or more to require parameters. Okay, it took me a second to catch on to it, but it seems like I forgot a letter. It's supposed to be username. So let's go ahead and try this again. Make sure that everything is spelt properly. And then we run it. And there we go. We have our information here. And then if we go in and we change this to a 2. And then we open it up. And then we get this one right here. So, well, anyway, so make sure that all of your column names are spelled properly. And, uh, I mean, usually in cases like this, it's pretty simple to figure out, but that was just totally an oversight on my part where the R was missing there. So anyway, this is Wayne Barron, darkfix.net, and this is how you uh, read records from your access database. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.